Hey guys, Dr. Mo here, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys are aware, we are on a, in a new year and we're doing a new year, new you series. So today I wanna to talk to you about self-love. I think that many people have this preconceived idea of what self-love is, and I want to make sure that I give you the tools to at least do a self-assessment and possibly give you some tools that you can employ as you go embark upon self-love. Again, with self-love, it's very important that you are exhibiting it so those around you know exactly how to love you. Some of the things that you can do in order to show self-love to yourself is to make sure that you're kind to yourself. Be nice to yourself. It's so important that you are nice to you because after all, the only person you can rely on is you. You know, you want to make sure that you're, you're kind to yourself. Also, be true to yourself. If there are things that you need, um, be honest with yourself and say, these are things that I need and make sure that you're getting those things that you need. You know, it's important that you are getting those things because, again, you are loving yourself and in doing so, you're teaching others how to love you. You may also want to treat yourself. Make sure you do things that you like to do for yourself. Don't wait on other people to do it. I mean, history has shown, and I'm sure your experience and my experience also have shown that what we value as individuals, others may or may not value those things. So definitely, by all means, don't wait for anyone to do things for you. If you'd like to, go ahead and treat yourself. You deserve it. Also, you want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself by setting healthy behaviors and boundaries. You want to make sure that you're taking care of your physical as well as your mental health. That's right, folks. You, you normally will go about your, your year by having an um, annual physical schedule. I am encouraging you to also have a mental physical schedule. We'll talk on this channel a lot about different things in the mental health arena that you can do to keep your mind clear and strong, but definitely you want to make sure that you, in, in taking care of yourself, you are taking care of your physical and your mental being. And you can do um, short things like possibly for your mental, I mean, for your physical health, you know all the things that you could possibly do, but for your mental health, sometimes taking a stroll, taking a walk, you know, uh, sometimes putting the phone down, putting the technology down. All those things are imperative in order to get a healthy balance mentally. So sometimes you may have to de-escalate the stimuli by removing, turning the lights off. Sometimes you have to turn the television off. Sometimes you, you really need to put the, the laptop down and the cell phone down for the sake of your mental health. It's perfectly okay. And as you embark upon this self-love journey, you have to also remember that if you are not loving yourself, there is no way that you can be a good partner or a good friend because a half or empty vessel cannot fill another empty or half vessel. It has never happened. It will never happen. So you have to be your absolute best, be extremely strong, and, and a whole person, a person that love yourself so that when people need you, you can fill their cup. But an empty vessel cannot, cannot, cannot fill another empty vessel. So folks, there you have it. Self-love, a few tips for you. I hope that you like, share, and buy some comments because I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to know what's working for you, what, what things are not, what you'd like to hear. By all means, please let me know. Thank you so much and have a great day and Happy New Year.